Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Andrea Ali and in today's video I'm going to show you the easiest like a five minutes makeup look for face and body. The weather now is very pretty so we're starting to wear skirts or shorts and I find myself sometimes thinking I would love to wear that skirt but my legs are too white. Of course you could have self-tan and you could use that, but it's quite of a process. In this video, however, I'm going to show you a much faster transfer-proof option. And then the makeup look, it's something that honestly I want to wear all summer long. There is longevity on this makeup, so you can wear it for 10 hours easily. And it's super easy to create. We could put this whole makeup look in the makeup for dummies category, okay? That's how easy it is. This dress, I'm going to put a picture in here so you can see it better. It's something that I love so much and I thought I should share it with you. You will find the details in my description box along with this beautiful necklace. This is from Cinco and you have 15% off for any Cinco jewelry with the code right here. I will also put everything in the description box. Now let's get started. I'm starting this makeup with my brows already done. I was using soap brows. Tutorial coming soon on how I do these eyebrows. Now the next step is to apply this Hollywood Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury. A lot of people think it's a foundation. It's not. It doesn't have any kind of coverage. It just has this very beautiful metallic finish. The actually under foundation looks beautiful. So you want to apply this wherever you want your skin to have a glow. Next is the Hyaluronic Hydra Foundation by Terry with a damp beauty sponge. Best way to apply this. Tap, 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 tap. I'm using the color 400W. There's nothing new in my routine. This is a routine that's actually working really, really well for me right now. So I'm just gonna continue with this. If you guys think this is boring and you want me to try some other stuff, please let me know and I will do that. You know the drill. Pat McGrath Sublime Perfection Concealer. And this time I'm using the color Light Medium 9. I just received the Light Medium 9 and I have to tell you, Compared with the light medium 10, it's much more neutral. I would suggest that if you have very, very dark blue dark circles and you are my skin color, you would like light medium 10 much more than light medium 9. However, both of them work for me. Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder. I wish you could, guys could feel how soft this is. When I first received it, maybe this is just like the secret brightening powder from Laura Mercier, which I have a love and hate relationship with. I mean, I like it, but then sometimes it just looks weird. And I was like, maybe it's like that. I was a little skeptical. But now after using this powder for about a week, I could tell you that I love it, but only under the eyes. Like if you attempt to apply this powder anywhere else in your skin in order to set your makeup, mattify your makeup, forget it. This is just for your under eyes. Get a little bit of the powder only under the eyes. This concealer with the powder, perfect match. Now for the rest of the face, I'm gonna move on with the Pat McGrath Loose Powder. From my experience, Loose powder is the best way to set the makeup in place and to get rid of the shine. And I powder the skin only on the T-zone. Ilia Color Haze Multi Matte Pigment. This is in a color waking up and I have to tell you it's incredibly beautiful. The kind of product that you could use on your eyes, on your lips, on your cheeks. Let me show you the color. Look at this. Very, very natural. So I'm going to take this and apply it on my cheekbones. Beautiful color for my skin tone, I have to tell you. You could definitely apply this product with your finger. It's very mistake proof. I'll use the Becca bronzer in Capri Coast. This is a satin bronzer, so it's not fully matte. When the light hits you, it's so beautiful. After you apply foundation, I strongly recommend you to use a very, very thin layer of powder wherever you want to apply bronzer, powder bronzer. 
Why? Because after foundation, the skin is still like sort of moist. Any colorful powder is going to it's going to stick onto the skin, and that's when it's gonna look patchy. Unless you have experience on using makeup, I can totally apply bronzer, even if I did not powder, because I'm very light-handed. I also like to apply some powder right here at the end of my eye so it makes it more lifted. Now, in order to give that gold eye look, I will use the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize in Star Gold. I'm using a Morphe M33 brush. The great thing about this product is that it lasts. It does not crease. It will last all day long. You could also apply this with your finger. Check out how beautiful this looks. And then this is a Zoeva 329 brush. And I'm applying this product also at the base of my lower lashes. Because it's metal, you can see that it actually looks like I'm wearing more than one color. Because in here it has a beautiful shine like right on the middle, but then at the outer corner it looks a little bit darker. Do you guys agree? That's the beauty of a cream metallic eyeshadow. Mascara Too Faced, Better Than Sex. There are three mascaras that I want to try for you. The Huda Beauty, Anastasia, and the new Marc Jacobs. I'm very curious about that. Aren't the eyes so pretty? I'm not saying, oh my god, my eyes are so pretty, but I mean the makeup look. It's so simple. One cream eyeshadow, mascara, summer makeup is on. Victoria Beckham lip liner in number one, just to define the lips. And now I'm going to use the same Ilia, the same a pigment for my lips. And maybe here you're going to see better the texture. Because like I said, it does dry matte. So like I said, this dries matte, but it's still very comfortable. A little bit of Magic Luminizer from RMS. Just to add more luminosity, you see right here? That's where I apply a touch of highlighter. A little bit on the nose. On the sides of my forehead. So what I like about this RMS luminizer is that it's a creamy luminizer, but it's not greasy. So don't expect when your hair fit, hits your face to like stick to that surface. That's not how this highlighter is. Check out up close the final look. I want you to see how natural the skin is and it feels very lightweight. You know, sometimes when you wear makeup, it kind of, you can feel it on your skin. What I'm wearing right now, I don't feel it at all. Okay, now here we have final look from further away. I want to talk about this Bytery T2 Tan. This is a product I've recently received. It's a face and body tan that is so incredibly easy to use. It's like water and it's transfer proof. You could apply like right before you leave the house. Maybe, you know, you're wearing a skirt and you're all of a sudden your legs are so wide and like, damn, I wish I had a little bit of tan. This is your guy. I'm going to show you how this works. I'll spray it on my chest. And then I'm going to use this brush that's actually also from By Terry. Let's apply a little bit more, but this time directly on the brush because I just, I don't want to make a mess. Oh, lovely. Do, do you guys see this? 
this has tea extract and if i'm not mistaken you you guys have to double check this information but i think pregnant women can use this you guys this is so pretty it looks like i have a tan it doesn't even look like there is a product in there it's very subtle Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. This way I know what kind of videos you want to see. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well because I'm showing a lot in there as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!